So my name is Michael Flashbart, and I'm here with Compass International, but I've got about 28 years experience at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, which is the NASA Visitor Center in Huntsville, Alabama, where I live when I'm not in the UAE. So I'm over here doing some camps empowering students uh, as the next generation, the Mars generation of learners that are going to be heading to space one day. So as part of these camps, we're talking and showing the students about living and working in space. So we're showing them samples, real space food samples. This is one of the astronaut drink bags the astronauts will use on board the International Space Station. Uh, we, we also get, give them a chance to taste some real space food as part of the camp that they're participating in. Uh, definitely, actually, it's it's uh, it's hundred uh, percent uh, drinkable, and uh, we uh, we'll do doing it. And this is one of the things that uh, uh, the humanity learned that how to recycling the water, and they are using this type of uh, invention uh, and down here on Earth to help uh, the places that have problems with water. They learn about when they're up in space how to use special no-rinse space shampoo uh, as part of their training. Start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp, and I take my no-rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp in there and just kind of work it because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel. They'll also learn about the, uh, the physical effects of being in space for long term. So they have to exercise about two hours every day that they're up there. And they have to exercise a little bit different way because they can't lift weights in space. Everything is weightless. So they have to use resistance training as part of that. So I'm sharing stories uh, about my time training students just like them. One of the students that went through uh, our program in space camp in Huntsville, Alabama is astronaut Christina Koch. She's on the International Space Station right now and uh, she'll be uh, working with the first Emirati astronaut that will be going to space later this year uh, for that. So it's quite an exciting time. Uh, going on in space and the UAE Space Agency and the Mohammed bin space, uh, Rashid Space Center here in Dubai are leading the efforts really in the GCC as they work with NASA, the Russian Space Agency and others uh, on the space frontier. So certainly inspiring the next generation but students that are in school now uh, whether it's grade school or university level are really the first generation that can truly aspire to going to Mars one day and they're being called the Mars generation uh, and if you think about it those students that are maybe uh, 10, 15, 20 years old now by the time really the world is ready in 10 or 15 years to go to Mars, they're going to be the perfect age. Uh, m most of the astronauts, when they travel to space, are in their mid-30s. So these students, in about 15 years, that's their age that they're going to be as they get ready to head to the stars.